I'm about to go try El Bodegón, which is a restaurant owned by Gastón Acurio, one of the most renowned Peruvian chefs worldwide. They serve comida criolla, which is the very traditional Peruvian food. So follow me and let's go and check it out. Remember the purple corn that I showed you in the markets? And I told you how we make a drink called chicha morada? This is it right here. You'll find it in every household, in every restaurant in Peru. Mm, it's so refreshing. They boil the corn and they add things like pineapple, cinnamon, cloves. So it's got a really, really nice flavor. It's so unique. And look at that color so high in antioxidants. Chicha morada was actually consumed during the Inca Empire thousands of years ago. And a lot of people actually think that it tastes like bubble gum. So we've got the anticuchos here, the beef heart skewers. They're absolutely delicious. We've got the um, tamales, corn tamales. They're filled with artichoke. This one's usually you can get them with beef or chicken. We've got the pastel de choclo, the corn, corn, um, it's like a corn cake, basically. And the delicious crab causa. Look at that crab causa. It's a Peruvian winner. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna try is the corn tamal. It's filled with artichoke. It's so creamy, it's got a beautiful sweetness. It's cooked to perfection and the really nice criolla sauce, that onion relish, just lifts it all up. Yum! I'm gonna try the anticucho. This is um, a beef heart skewer. It's really traditional. It's made with the ají panca, the panca pepper, which has a really nice smoky flavor and it's cooked over charcoal. So it has a really nice smoky flavor. It's really nice and tender, actually. Mm. I'm gonna have it with a bit of the potato and all the sauces. We love our sauces here. It's a great percentage of mm. the food. And always, the Peruvian corn. Mm. It's nice and kind of like, it's got kind of like a milky texture. It's got a really nice bite. And I just can't stop eating this anticucho. Mm. That texture is absolutely beautiful. And that flavor, it's got a delicious, smoky flavor. It's got a bit of vinegar through it. The, the ají panca chili. Now I'm gonna try that um, crab causa. Mm. Mm. The crab is nice and sweet. It comes with a bit of um, a salsa golf, which is like um. It comes with a bit of like a cocktail sauce made with um, the crab through it and the layers of the yellow potato with the acidity of the lime through it, the mayo, the avocado, a little bit of grated egg at the top. Absolutely delicious. That's incredible. Now I'm going to try the corn cake. Mm. So inside, it's got layers of the corn. Then in the middle, it's got the meat. It's got bits of raisin, olives, and egg. Very similar to an empanada filling. The filling for this corn cake is very similar to an empanada filling. Yum, it's absolutely so good. So interesting in flavor. 
Okay, the first dish I'm gonna try is the arroz con camarones. The camarón is like a mini lobster. It's got big claws and the flavor is absolutely exquisite. And it comes from the rivers, mostly from the Arequipa province. Let's try the camarón. Look how easily it comes out. That flavor, that texture, it's sweet. It's got incredible seafood flavor. Now let's try it with the rice. So this rice, it's been cooked with this intense stock from the camarón. It's a camarón stock. The rice, it's not too cooked. It's kind of like a bit like a risotto in texture and the flavor that you get from that camarón. It's very intense in set flavor. It's got a very intense seafood flavor. Now I'm gonna try the seco. That meat is so tender. It falls straight out of the bone. And the flavors from the seco, from the coriander, it's so punchy, so much flavor. And I really like how it's served with the taku, taku the bean and the rice. Because usually this is served with beans and rice separately. But a taku, taku is beans and rice together. And they actually form it kind of like in an oval shape. And then it's fried. Lastly, I'm going to try the pesto pasta with the huancaina, potatoes, and that nice schnitzel on top. So this is a very traditional combo in Peru. The pesto pasta with the huancaina sauce on the side and potatoes and the crispy schnitzel on the top. It's a fantastic trilogy. The flavors work so well. You've got the cheesiness and the creaminess from the huancaina sauce. That really nice pesto in the pasta and the crispy beef on top that combo is fantastic let's try the picarones picarones is like a donut that's made with sweet potato and pumpkin and then it's fried it's served with a chancaca honey which is made of unrefined cane sugar and it's mixed with a bit of um, orange peel and cinnamon and cloves so it's a really delicious honey sticky syrup <laughs> It's sticky and soft and sweet and crunchy all in one bite. Like I, like I once said in high school, picarones. Picarones. Picarones ricos y calientitos. Buenazo. And now I'm gonna try the famous chocolate cake. This place is known for their chocolate cake. Peruvians love chocolate cake, but we we make it with a homemade fudge that's made with a sweet condensed milk and the evaporated milk and the cocoa. So that's the type of chocolate cake that we love eating here. And then we've got in the middle layers of manjar blanco, the dulce de leche. Mm. The cake is super moist. It's not too crazily sweet. It's actually really nicely balanced. And that homemade fudge sauce. I mean, no wonder why Peruvians love homemade fudge. Now I'm gonna try the leche asada, which is that custard, similar to a creme caramel. So this one comes actually with a side of um, dulce de leche, with a side of manjar blanco. It's smooth, it's got a bit of that sweet, um, caramel layer on the top that's really nice and shiny. It's like the best creme caramel I've ever had. This was another incredible meal. A deep dive into home-cooked style food and a journey through time. I highly recommend any restaurant that's owned by Chef Gaston Acurio. You will never be disappointed. 